What you see here is the world premiere of uh, instant wine cellars, instant bomb shelters, instant tunnels. The truck with the frame on the back of it is what we call a zipper truck. And with that, we can build arches in an incredibly fast manner. We assume that once we get uh, good at doing this, this is, uh, like I say, a world first. So what you're witnessing is us making a few mistakes here. But when we get good at this, we assume we can build one quarter lineal mile of tunnel of this configuration which is perfect for either a pedestrian underpass, uh, say a golf cart underpass, or a reclaimed tunnel for a mine. Um, and I joked earlier that perhaps you could use it as a very quick erect bomb shelter, but uh, that's not its primary purpose. We have had a lot of interest from people that want to use this as a wine cellar. So you can see the loader operator right now is having a little bit of a learning curve on how to place this block on the rollers and then lean it over onto the wall. But you can imagine how much faster this is to construct than having to build a wooden formwork underneath each arch and then take it down and move it forward. When we get the back end of the uh, arch built, and you can see it's on the right hand side there, we've switched to another view. You can see uh, us building the other side. When we get the arch built so that we have one complete ring in and we've put the center keystone in on the back, then we're going to time ourselves to see how long it takes to put one complete set of blocks in which advances the tunnel forward in the order of five feet. It's actually one and a half meters, but it's very close to five feet. So we assume that we're going to be able to move forward one five foot increment approximately every five minutes, which gives us uh, roughly one foot per minute construction time. And uh, the, the only real uh, slowdown to how fast we can build this is how quickly we can get the blocks available. You see the truck is backing up there because we didn't have the uh, the, the two sides of the arch spread far enough apart to drop the keystone in. So it was hanging up a little bit and uh, therefore we're just backing the truck up a little bit to spread the arch out. As you can see, the front end of the truck is a higher elevation than the back end. And as it pulls forward like that, the arch then is compressed or it's allowed to fall together and uh, then come to rest on the keystone. If you were to look at the blocks from above, it's almost an identical action to a zipper. So we call it a zipper truck. So right now we've started on our um, trial to get as many blocks as we can in that make up one complete arch segment so the, we've got the bottom blocks and then we're going to progress up to the top and put the keystone in. We don't quite uh, make our five minute uh, time slot but we're getting fairly close considering this is very early on in the advancement of this type of technology. In fact this is a world first as we said before. But you can see it doesn't take uh, very long to actually get individual blocks in place, particularly these square ones on the bottom. The arch blocks themselves go in pretty quickly as well until we get to the top. But uh, once we get our operators used to this sort of thing, we're sure that we can have a uh, much faster construction time than what you're witnessing here. You'll notice the uh, outside of all of these arch blocks have an inset um, tie-off point because an alternate method of building these arches is to use counterweights and hold the arch apart until you put the keystone in the middle 
and then you can suspend it uh, with the machine while you then slowly loosen off the chains and let the two sides of the arch come together and rest on the keystone. We actually have another video online that uh, you can click on and see the construction with the counterweighted method. And that's the method you would use if you don't have access to a zipper truck and also a method you would use to cross small streams. This is uh, uh, kind of a prototype arch right now. And uh, the reason we built this is that we did have a customer uh, to use one for a reclaimed tunnel for a gravel pit. Um, it's the perfect size for it. We can actually leave some of the blocks out of the ceiling of the arch for the feed points for the gravel to fall through and, and then land on the conveyor that would be going through the tunnel in the same spot that the truck is sitting right now. You can see we're using two loaders simultaneously, which speeds up the process. If you could only reach it from one side, you'd, you could put these uh, blocks in place with a hydraulic excavator as well, um, but then you would have a little bit more trouble getting the blocks to the right area. But you can, you can see even in this early stage of construction that uh, when the operator gets things into the correct spot, it falls into place fairly easily. You can also see from the other activity going on in the yard, this is not our only uh, product. We have something called a lock lock system, which is we've uh, been perfecting over the last 30 years or so. This arch system, we've only recently turned our attention to it, but we believe this to be the next uh, major breakthrough in overpass construction where we would build highway two, three, four lane highway overpasses overnight. So it would minimize the disruption to traffic. It would also be hugely cost effective uh, if you can compress your construction schedule from a few weeks down to a few hours. Everybody can see the benefit to that. The background uh, picture shows a pile of rubble there. We start with old concrete rubble from foundations of buildings being demolished. We then crush it, screen it, size it, wash it, and make fresh concrete out of it again. In fact, some of these blocks that we're putting in this tunnel could easily have been made with concrete that was um, made using recycled uh, gravel from a pile of rubble that looks just like the one in the background there. We have, this is the second to last block being lowered into place now. The loader that uh, went out of the frame on the right hand side has got the keystone and uh, he will be bringing that forward shortly. You can see this operator had a little more trouble getting that last uh, block in than the operator that put the one in on this side. But that's all got to do with uh, learning how it goes. This is the first time we've done that with these guys. And here comes the keystone. You notice we're, we're holding it uh, from a different point than the other uh, blocks. We held the, the other uh, blocks um, from a hook that was between the two crosses. And here we're holding the, 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 the block from the top. 
The operator there is saying that he can't lift it high enough with the boom that's on this particular machine, but rather than set it down and, and uh, extend the boom out, we're just going to drag it over the top and uh, put it in. So we could probably have shut our time timer off already if we'd have noticed that before we started doing this exercise. So as I said before, we're learning. This is the this is the world first. But I think we did not too badly for had never having really done this before. So this block is taking quite a bit longer than it should have. So our uh, time, I think, when I when I, I looked at the time, and I'm sure the internet people will verify this for me, is something in the order of eight minutes, maybe slightly less than eight minutes, uh, till we get to the point where this truck is pulled forward and uh, locked that block into place. And I don't think it's totally un uh, that it's unrealistic at all that we will eventually achieve five minutes. Uh, per five foot. You can see the blocks all uh, going together now. You can see the arches falling towards each other and that truck pulled ahead roughly five feet and now that block is locked into place and we can put the next ring of uh, or the next series of blocks in place and uh, have ourselves an arch. We might even get the construction of this down to faster, considerably faster than one foot a minute. So here you see the truck uh, pulling away from underneath the arch that was uh, built. It's also a different day because we had other things to do the remaining of the day, the other day. So you can see the blocks all falling together and uh, this arch is completely stable by itself even though these, these wing walls step down in, in, in uh, sawtooth fashion. Each block is locked by the block above and then the, the keystones above lock everything else into position. So it's a stable structure even though it hasn't been finished off with the square end. So we can actually uh, give you angled blocks so that it doesn't step off in a sawtooth that it improves the uh, visual of it. Here we are uh, going to be walking directly underneath of a, an arch that uh, uh, you can finish it one second and walk underneath it the next. So hence the instant arch in a box. Uh, if uh, you want to call it that way, you can see the sawtooth there where the, the keystones lock every subsequent layer into place below it. Um, we could seal this off by putting a regular wall across the end. Um, leave gaps in it for doors, it can be a munitions bunker, it can be a wine cellar, it can be a reclaimed tunnel, it could be a root cellar, it could be all kinds of things. It could be a water pipe for uh, drainage canals or for water feed systems. We could make it a complete circle. So uh, now what we're going to do is put the zipper truck back underneath the arch and uh, the arch then would be, you would be able to take this um, structure apart and relocate it somewhere else if you wanted. So let's say you were using this for a temporary uh, storage or a temporary um, wine cellar or, uh, or cool storage area and uh, you wanted to take it down so you would back the truck underneath it and de-stack it in the reverse order that you stacked it up in. And I don't know how well it shows from this angle, but as the truck starts uh, contacting the blocks, the arch blocks themselves from the other end of the picture here start spreading apart so that the keystone becomes easily removed.
And of course, this is only one of hundreds or thousands of different uh, arch shapes, segments, sizes, spans that could be done with this technology. But uh, congratulations, you have witnessed a world first arch construction using a zipper truck. Brought to you by Archlock Inc. and United Lock Lock Limited.